in Dyer, not off lane, Dean, Nyx off lane, and then the Phoenix and the PA splitting the two remaining lanes. That's actually not the worst idea. Um, if Phoenix can dodge the Silencer matchup, then you have a much easier laning face for Phoenix. And 1v1s, Phoenix actually wins against a lot of like auto attack based 1v1ers because of the power of Fire Spirits. Okay. Yeah, those Fire Thanks Spirits have proven to just destroy people before, and oh! Okay, we're gonna see a Faceless Void coming to the picture. Chronosphere is a hell of a good, good way to stop Black Hole. Just completely uh, halt the PA's movement and, and ends. I don't know. I, I, I want to say that I like Tom Fu's composition right now, but I think Team Tinker's kind of kind of outpicked. Hmm. I don't. I don't know if I love Tom Fu's composition. The yeah. Void. Void's a weird hero right now. He's very. He's become extremely ad independent. That's one thing. He he went from. With the really cheap Chronosphere, that, like, and the amazing blink slowing down people's attack and move speed, he was a great offlaner and he wasn't that gold intensive. Now he's extremely farm intensive. You need tons of items to make this guy work. So that's one thing. The other thing is, until pretty late, PA is going to give him a lot of trouble. Remaining. So, I mean, it is a hero who's not going to fall over and die to Nyx Assassin, so that's great, but I don't know. Well, we'll see. This is going to be game two between Team Tinker and Tonk Fu NA. I'm Ike, I join him here as Viker Bonds, and let's get on to this match. I mean, this is pretty important. You know, for Team Tinker, they want to make it a quick 2 well. Get everything out of the way. Pile I Die, though, let's do the introductions. Pile I Die will be playing your Lion. Tinky Winky or Arteezy will be playing your PA. Black on the Knicks, and if Black on the Knicks, does that mean it's mid? Huh. Way yeah, 2 will be Enigma. Mid mix, all right. Flow is Bulba playing on the Phoenix, and then we have the wonderful Tong Fu Na. Mhm. Mm Tong Fu Na on the Dire. Actually, we might get a fight, so let's hold that thought. What level one time walk? Go get him. Slow him down. <laughs> they know what they can do. <laughs> Staring contest right now. But the faceless void doesn't have eyes. That's a good point. Uh, way <laughs> faceless void. <laughs> Ling is gonna be on the Earthshaker, Baidu Emperor on the Silencer, so that's uh, two supports for that void. I think they use that for lane scouting primarily. Then Shark is on the Zeus. It looks like it might actually be an off lane Zeus. And then it will be Cy, who's on the Storm. He was a bright spot for his team last game. We'll see what he can do this game. Trying he's to got a super early battle. He's got quite a bit of mobility with the Storm this time. You could say it's more so than the uh, Ember Spirit. Yeah. But, he's gonna get flanked out here, some serious damage coming in, Fire Spirit's out, Fissure to stop Black for a little bit, but he gets it anyway. And again, we find ourselves in a two Bounty Rune situation for Team Tinker. Another double bounty start. Hmm. That's a shame. I think uh, Tongfu would have really liked to have at least a one, one rune start for the Storm Spirit. Unfortunately, that means... I mean, it's a huge deal because it's 100 gold, and that would mean that he would be only two last hits off of Bottle to start. Full wave off of start. And he's gonna get mana, ban mana burn spammed all day. Like yes, that's yes. that's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> and the problem is that Black actually is at bottle already, so that that bottle's gonna give him the power to con to mana burn on cooldown. So not not that fun of a lane for Storm, honestly, when you don't get a bounty and the next does. Well, he got the full clear on the wave, and he's already got a bottle coming out to him, so he at least managed to to get that down. But like you said, it's, it's still gonna be very tough. And this off lane for the Phoenix in Bulba, not gonna be too tough. Uh, Against the Void, he's not hes not too worried about being dove out hmm. yet, but he'll have to Yeah, I mean, die. the Silent Starts or ES should be able to, at least once they get a level with the Bulba. My bigger issue is Zeus solo against Lion PA. I don't know if that can survive. Oh, is he dead? He's, he's just dead! Not. Yeah, he's just dead, oh. yeah. So th this is a horrible idea, uh, this, this solo off lane. Uh, huh. Well, he picked up a uh, Orb of Venom, too, just to ensure that kill. That was a tragedy. I mean, it's just the, the Zeus can Zeus at level one barely trades hits with Lion because you gotta keep in mind back in the day when Lion had like 44 base, then yeah, Zeus is gonna be fine. But now oh, Lion's been treated Lion, yeah. perfectly acceptable. Right? Yeah, that's crazy. And the, the cap, you know, capitalist, he likes to play his offlane Zeus, and I'm sure he'd have a thing or two to say to Shark, but that it's was... not that it's bad. It's that I don't see what like, what's he thinking here. Like, it's not gonna work here. Yeah, and, and he doesn't block off the camp either, so he's going to get pulled on too, which is going to deny him so much. And Looking for a two-minute rune, he doesn't get it. There's a regen right from Paladai. 
I thought that when they came bottom, they would do one of two things. They would either get the ward down, even if it was to cause them to take some damage, or they'd scout the lanes and switch to make sure that the Zeus wasn't stuck 1v2 or 1v3. But they didn't do any of that. They just went the lanes that you'd expect, which gives them multiple losing lane matchups. Oh, that's weird. Time to win a... Showing their uh, experience right now. I'll see mid, why. Mid, mid. Yeah, he's gonna get his ting down just a little bit. Is he dead? Yeah, he should yeah, take out. Yeah, okay. Phoenix does just so much damage. It's like once he's on top of you, you know. Hey, look on the bright side. Do. Zeus gets some XP. Yeah, he's level two. Oh, almost actually. Wait. No, not even. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Well, still spamming arc lightning. Still trying to lane, and Black is not giving him any space. Look at that even denying him too. And this is just going to set up even better for Black. Like, he, once he gets level 6, there's no chance for that Zeus to survive. Uh, the Phoenix has got some assist money coming in, too, as well as XP. So he's, his offlane is going much, much better than the Zeus's. Mm -hmm. And they counterpick this Phoenix. Like, they dump the Salter pick in, they put the Storm pick in. Hold us doing pretty dang fine. Here we talk about Way 2 as well, who's just farming the jungle very quietly. Keeping his little school of Eidolons together and just doing his damn thing. Mm -hmm. Just way too things. Well, he's getting the Soul Ring. Definitely he's going to make make some progress. Uh, I mean, that's all that's all they want from Way2 right now is just to farm. Once they have mech, uh, it's going to be... Game will not be that hard. Game will not be hard indeed. Level 6, though, is, is going to be interesting for both these teams. Like, you get access to the Global Silence, you get access to uh, the Chronosphere. Those are, those are all very big and important things to these team fights. And we saw we saw just how strong Time Flu NA can be in this early game, but that's when they had a lead, and this time they don't. So yeah. Global is gonna be really good this game, but keep an eye on when he gets global, because I don't see any like font of tons of levels here. Mm -hmm. They don't the other support is not a good jungle clearer, so sounds are can't piggyback off of him. He can stack for the storm, but he's not really doing it. He's not zoning the Phoenix. Like, Silencer will hit six eventually, but it'll take a while. And now there's an Invis in too for the lion, so maybe gonna set something up mid for Black, who is level six now at four and a half minutes. So he's ready to vendetta and just stab some people in the back. Do a little nix nix nix. And I wouldn't be surprised if he just went straight up top, like killing off either the Silencer or the Air Shaker is not too hard of a task. That's true, but they're, they're not that high-value kills. Black might try to just level for now and get... If you don't level on um, on a core Nyx, you have a real struggle doing anything. And because they're against the Storm Spirit and he wants to spam mana burn, he actually wants to level every single one of his abilities. So mm. the ganks are probably going to come to him rather than vice versa. Let's see, he's looking for these spikes, and they want to line it up with Pile I Die. This is tricky. Uh, uh, spikes. Max range? We got those? No, we don't got those, but the Hex comes in. They burn the mana. Defensive TPs come out. And Pile Die is a okay. Nice timing on the spikes, too. Yeah, if the Impale lands, then. Look at that. Draining his mana through the bottle, too. Just... Double sipping? I don't know. I was trying to think of some weird Storm reference. Six. Yeah, you can start zipping now. He's still That's like a really level important. behind. Yeah. So, I made bottle getting killed by uh, the room from Phoenix. What do they do? What do they do from here? I mean, this is this is a huge recovery game for Tongfu already, and a little bit of a pause from Tongfu. Sec. P. Uh, what do they oh. do? Well, you gotta, Void has to farm. He's already behind. Uh, for the second game in a row, he's, his last hitting is simply not as efficient as Arteza's in the safe lane. Now, part of that is I think Bulba has been, yeah, Bulba's been hitting him with um, spirits every so often, which make it really, really hard to last hit. But that's the thing, he hasn't really gotten that much support from his supports to actually push the Phoenix back, so he's behind. Uh, he, that needs to be corrected. The Storm just needs to farm. The Storm's not going to really get that many kills right now unless Lion literally feeds him. So Tongfu, unfortunately, even though they're a little behind, need to play passive until Void is capable of killing somebody when he chronospheres them, and until Storm Spirit um, at least has tread. It's budget living right now. Uh, and what do we got? We got Arcanes coming in for Black. Oh, good luck, CY. No way he can live in this lane. Oh, not live in this lane, but ever cast a spell. But. Well, it is still level 1 mana burn. It has a very high cooldown. Oh, it's still level 1? Okay, never mind. Yeah, he went for max spikes. Okay, that's right. Going for more more sun duration instead. Still just as useful. 
Yeah, no, it's gonna be slow for Storm. I'm actually extremely surprised that the supports of Dire of Tunkle are choosing to mostly level rather than just passively stacking. When you have a behind Storm Spirit, the number one thing you need to do is just constantly stack so that it can catch up in, the, in your friendly jungle. Spikes coming in, Black still doing his own thing. We haven't really talked about RTZ too much because he's just filling the same role he did last time. Just playing the troll, not playing the troll, but playing the PA. It's a troll with crits. Less attack speed, but uh, uh yeah, he's just he's just gonna farm it forever. He's looking for a battle fury, it seems with the ring of health, so like, unless he goes vanguard, I don't I don't expect too much out of him yet. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, you're, you're completely right, it's battle fury, and yeah, it's, it's like most carries, it's troll but worse in certain ways. Yeah, PA, PA can fall off very hard late game, if anything, but I, I don't see them getting to that point if they want to just accelerate and push at any point. Team Taker can do so. He's always got that one-shot potential, which is huge against some of these squishies like Zeus, Silencer, or Storm. Like, every so often, uh, PA late is really dangerous because she can get, like, a double damage room, and then she just blink strikes your Silencer, and then you mm -hmm. go global, and it's really sad. Oh, Spikes on a CY. We got the Hex. Oh, we got Spikes from downtown, though. Hex gonna come on out. They drain the meta again. They pop the Vendetta, and there's the kill, though. He zips away the last second black. He's hunted for it, though. Oh, the bottle charges. In the meantime, though, we got a kill coming out from Arteezy. Black popping his own wand charges to stay alive just a bit. Oh, man. So the wands pick up from the start. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And the bottom? Yeah. Dies. And that's a that's a free tower that actually is the completed mechanism. Oh, it's tower has fallen. so greedy. You let the let the man play his own game, all right? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's not good. They killed off who was it? Zeus? It was uh Earthshaker. Earthshaker. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what he's doing there by himself. He's level three. Yeah. They're looking for a kill on a pally die at least, trying to get at least one. Can they do it? They will more auto-attack and oh, why do Emperor steals it instead? But a TP comes in from Tinky Winky, looking for the crit, he's pumping it. He's, oh, he's toying with his food right now. See why pops the soul ring. He throws a dagger over the river and says, you ain't getting away. Alright. Yeah, this one is not as close as the last one. Yeah. I think Tongfu's draft in this game was, uh, yeah, They're laning this game, their ability of deciding which lanes would be winning which was very bad. They lost, they dramatically lost two lanes. We can't count really, the really void just bad. yet. I don't want to, I don't want to say that it's over, but, but they're horrifically behind. Like, <laughs> like graph-wise, what do we got here? 5,000 already? And nine, nine minutes? minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. XP's the same. So... Way hasn't been touched at all. I don't think they're even worried about him, honestly. I mean, there's oh, more XP for me. There's like, okay, XP behind the stage. Like, Hex. Was nine. Spikes. Way. Oh, man. No backtrack on the Vendetta either. Just gets poked in the back. Little Nix, 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 Nix. Uh. Cool draft from Tinker here. Un unorthodox Nix Assassin pick very strong. Hey, yeah, when you're not, when you're not trying harding on your own team, you get to have a little fun when you stand in. <laughs> little fun drafts. You get to see the mix mid, you get to see uh, the SD come out and out. Not bad. Yeah, no, I think I, th I don't think these are necessarily like jump drafts. I mean, they know that this is not going to be their hardest game, even in this qualifier. But even so, I mean, they're just testing heroes. Mm -hmm. Nyx, I think, is un underplayed a little bit. I mean, he is strong against these, like, he's strong against Storm, who everybody is spamming. He's strong against Lina, who pretty much everybody is spamming. He's a, he's a hero. Oh, is there gonna be a dive here? Oh, we got Paladai hitting the spikes on the way. Oh, he backtracks that one though. Okay. Paladai is haste, so it's like a zero cost. <laughs> yeah, zero uh, risk. So they give up on the push. They see everybody here. They're just gonna keep poking and prodding. Artizi isn't too scared. And I'm looking I was gonna for say the first Black's under level because he doesn't have Vendetta rank two. But I remember, hey, it's ten minutes into the game. He's not under level at all. Yeah, he's level nine. Almost a level a minute. <laughs> and he has a Vizrude, so it's like a, he like has double with the Vendetta almost. Stealthing around. You know what they're doing? They're giving space to bubble the farm. Look at that. It's almost level 6. Good. Coordinating yeah, the play. He is a little bit under level where, to where you'd like to be, but then you see that the Zeus is level 4, and you're like, ah, oh, they're quite okay. And everybody's waiting on the side. They want to bait CY a little bit, but the only thing is, they don't want to deal with those crits. And now Black vendetta up. Not gonna go on away. Doesn't find anything he thinks is scrumptious That's enough to kill. just backstab. 
Black actually has a Void Stone, so he might not go Fast Blink, which you sometimes see. It looks like he might actually go Yules or something first. Yeah, you Yules interest. into Spikes, and that pretty much leads to a death. What are you doing, Way 2? A little overextended right now. I'm sitting in another TP. They want to hit this Fissure? But... Mm, oh man, five versus four. What do we got? No, oh, there it is. Three man Chronosphere actually for the first one. Not bad. Pilot die. Gonna get blown up. Black gets healed up. There's a black Kawana too though. Doing some serious damage with the spikes. A supernova on top. A mini wombo combo coming out. Size dead. And uh, double kill for way two. Lion for storm and void. Well, maybe some more. Hold on. Flow is really ballsy. When they get the kill, they're gonna get the mana down onto Shark well, too. Yeah. And crit. Can you get the crit? No. Oh, the Vendetta crit instead. Never mind. Black gets a double. That's actually a five-man wipe at yeah. 12 minutes. Smart dive. I mean, what 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 really is a level five silencer, a level three Earth Shaker, okay, five, and a level five Zeus gonna do when you dive them? They're gonna do absolutely nothing and just die under tower. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, this so is... tough. That Chrono was good. That, actually, that Chrono was really good. It was, but they're so behind that it's tough to do it. Like, if Zeus is 6, then yeah, you get like 3 kills there. Mm -hmm. So now that it was a tier 1, it was a fight, and see why? Almost runs into black. He's now level 11 at 12 minutes, which is pretty damn good. Yeah, there's gotta be some record here that black is setting. I wish we had a stats huh. guy. Why didn't he level Vendetta rank 2? I don't agree with that at all. Okay. Whatever. Maybe this clip in the heat of the moment? Maybe. I mean, it's not the hugest deal, but I do think Vendetta Rank 2 is very strong. And the other thing about it is, like, 11 to 12 is extremely slow. It's one of the slowest. It's the slowest level until 23, so it's a while until we have that level 2 Vendetta. Mm -hmm. Some pinks coming out. They might want to go on the way here. Pile I die. Skirting around the side of the tree line. Is spotted up by a ward, though. So they they don't even mind for that. Now the Yules is done for black, and they're still pushing up a tier 2 up top. And the nice thing is, he does because he still has level 1 Vendetta, he has maxed mana burn, which is 4 second cooldown, 5 intelligence multiplier on the storm mana burn. Like, that's gonna run the storm out of mana in 2 casts. 300 mana down, the drain. Uh -huh. So, this 2 2 tower is gone, Lane's gonna try to do what he can with the fissure? He's almost level 6, but still has no blank, nowhere near a blink. The harassing Wait, he's just, just walking up and being like, what are you going to do about it? Oh, what did he just do? He just killed off the <laughs> Zeus? Uh, oh, jeez. Three kills for a TZ. Yeah, this, I don't know. I don't see Tom. They just don't have the levels. They're just too far behind to next game. You've got three players who are 11. Oh, Tronosphere, okay. Take you, Winky, though. Look at that blur. Just dodging all the way all over the place. He gets healed up by the mech. He's going to get an urn charge, too. There's a supernova on top of two. Way going to get stunned up by the spike carapace. CY picks up a kill, though. Way. That's pretty rough, but they're still really dead. Yeah, just get a little poked by those pincers. Yeah, I mean, just note that they use Chrono, but because Chrono doesn't disable passives right now, Archer still has the full maxed blur while inside the Chrono Center, and that takes them the entire effort of Void and Storm just to get the PA kill. Which, yeah, great, you got a PA kill. That's not nothing, but. Hmm. <sighs> Man. It sucks that the, the, the Chrono's doesn't disable passive anymore. Although it was really broken when it did that. And even Bobo's picking up now a Midas. Wow. I think it's perfectly okay. Really? <laughs> Alright. We have but different opinions know. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, so the nice thing for Tongfu, their support staff are all level 6. So they have Thunder Gods, they have Echo, they have Global, for what it's worth. You mean they have potential <laughs> to try to win a fight? They have potential. Potential. But now Roche? What do we got? Is it gonna happen? Are you going for it, Team Tinker? It's not, not a super fast rush, but it's not super slow either. Way too... If you think about it, with enough RNG, it's a pretty fast rush. <laughs> no medallion is the only thing, but even so, sooner or later. So, RTZ, there you go. This is all you, man. This is all your egg. Was it a dagger? I don't know. I know oh, they don't. Yeah, actually. This is crit, 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 crit. Oh, no, actually, he's backing out. He's kind of scared. Is a ward on the high ground? Okay. Well, Wait2 doesn't want to be in there, because he has to mech Arthur if, uh... Let's zoom out a little bit, trying to scout out what's happening. Baiju, as well as Ling. Kinda wanna fight this, but... There's nothing else around the scout. It's too late. <laughs> they tried to finish or steal it, but that, that didn't work. <laughs> Storm didn't go in. Nope. In fact, Storm wasn't even on the right. I mean... Nosa Mail still is yeah. here. 
Yeah, I mean, not with Storm that far across the map, and they saw Void too. That's why they. Oh, Black with Space! And crits. One, two, and three. Out of the veil. Out of the veil. Yeah, even I think I just think the outdraft is really strong this game. Like Tongfu just have almost no options. They have all these big ultimates, but they're other than global, they're mostly outclassed by Team Tinker's ultimates. And RTZ is what double Void's net worth? No, a little less than. That. Almost. He's getting there. Except the late mom. This will be great for him. So much for him. It just made for a faster battle fury. That's all. <laughs> that's true. The only question is, where's the meme phase boots and the meme ring of Akalo? What's this quelling blade garbage? <laughs> he's he's got a farm. He's gonna hit those creeps harder. It's all it's about. The power of squares again. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, it's just a matter of time until Team Tanker are able to possibly just close up this game. It it seems that Tang Fu and A just aren't uh as experienced as a squad as a, as the squad. <laughs> you know, they're this pulling in veterans. Won. This game, this game, I think their lack of experience definitely cost them. They got outdrafted. They got massively outlaned. They lost. They lost all three games. Pretty, pretty dramatically. You know like, what? Th this game is what you'd expect from uh, like a TI quality team facing a not TI quality team. But game one was honestly pretty freaking shaky. Mm. But at least they're getting some good experience. Like playing against these players doesn't doesn't happen too often. So they they can learn a thing or two here at least. And you got you got to give them you know credit for sticking into the games this long and yeah. trying to have a repeat start of what happened last game. Like, they, they were playing so well last game. The thing is, last game they just had too much more play early. This game mm -hmm. they drafted a lineup that has almost no play early, which... Uh, they got maneuvered into it by Tinker. Tinker kind of forced them into the silencer pick that just doesn't do much until he's six. So, here we go. 13-3. I mean, the goal is probably over 10k at this point. Oh, 15k. Well, they find a way. Here we go. Spikes on top. X finger. Oh, jeez. Global silence. Too late. Can't save their... Do anything. Void, no. yeah. They even have a freaking hood. Oh, boy. Shark's just dead to crits. Ling is dead, too. We got a crit for the kill? Nope. See I why mean, the, the, the full pipe is just insane. Like, way too... Oh, they're just flicking it up mana. <laughs> nope. See why? Now There's a buyback. Oh, two buybacks. They won't do anything. Uh, do we have three? No. no way. There's no okay. point. Just, it, the supports could waste the gold, but why would, can't have the void. It's not like this is my next So, Baidu Emperor stands no chance against this. Actually, nobody stands a chance against this. Look at it. Arteezy just like high ground scouting. Yeah. Oh, I can't. He's still got Aegis for two minutes. So. I mean, Pipe is just huge. Pipe is amazing. It could completely nullifies the. The Zeus that was intended to be off lane, but really was more like a support. Hmm. I don't know, man. This is... This is a great A stomping. It is. It's poverty gaming for Tong Fu. I mean, they can look back. Not really much to learn from the replay, frankly. This is the kind of game you just look at the draft base and you're wrong with the lanes, the laning decisions. Mm-hmm. So as we wait for Team Tinker to kind of... Close this one out. It seems it, it, it's it's looking like a two. Uh, not counting it out yet, but they go in. See why Shark if he can. There's a Chrono Spear onto two. Going to do some good damage to Pilot Die, but it's only one kill. Then the egg comes on out. Look at that damage going in. They're ticking down so low. Shark gets into the base just in time. Ling has a blown up. And uh, look, done. There we go. Nope. There we go. And Braid is dead. See why should be next. He's almost out of mana. There you go. Soul Ring back to the well. And, uh, yeah, that's... I mean, what it ends up being is Aegis and Lion traded for Global Silence, uh, Echo Slam, Earthshaker, Chronosphere, Thunder God's Wrath. <laughs> There's really nothing you can do. He's he, he, uh, TP Zip. <laughs> TP Zip is good, but he doesn't have the items to really do much of them. He doesn't do enough damage. He doesn't have more. Nowhere near as much damage as it should be. Or it could be. Excuse me. God, Nyx was such a good pick this game. This was a really, really smart pick. Just, just brilliant. He, he just wrecks Zeus, Silencer, even Earthshaker to some extent, Storm. It's really, really, really smart pick by Team Tinker. Oh, Global Silence. We got ourselves a Pile I Die kill. All right, one by one. They kill off Pile I Die each fight. Eventually enough Pile I Die kills will equate to one turn around, but see why. Oh, jeez. Yeah, use Global to kill the Lion and pick the Silencer to stop the Enigma. <laughs> And, oh boy. And Shark is dead too? Nope, nice fissure. 
Blink I mean, forward? He's, he's definitely dead. <laughs> no, nope, there's a dagger. Boom. <laughs> and crits. Even PA has a little bit of a giggle about that one, but... I mean, they're just stacking KDA. This is a fantasy point game if I've ever seen one. It sure is. I mean, uh, I think Team Tinker will look at game one and see some areas of improvement. They could have definitely been watching this in game one. Uh, they will have pretty... I mean, it's not like there's an EG in the I-League uh, North American qualifiers, but Lexi has been playing pretty well with uh, Riser back on the roster. That's maybe their second final in this game. And then in the finals, they could be facing Demon Stack, which, you know, you always, you're always afraid of Jimmy Mike. Demon Stack. Yeah. 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 North American Rejects V2? Well, there's another. There, I don't think NAR is in this qualifier. No, they're are. not in this qualifier, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potential. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm enjoying so, I mean, that team. Tinker... That's going to be fun to watch. Definitely. Definitely. So, here we go. This is it. Is it all over here? I'm gonna get as hype as possible for this. Here we go. I hope you're ready. All right, Blake it forward. Pilot gets a two-man spike. The finger on top. Just, just so many crits. That was a pretty and sick play for what it's worth, even though they're messing right now. Yeah. And crit number three. Boop. No, it doesn't even need it. Phoenix is dominating. Way gets a backtrack and gets out. Sai is caught out though. And impale number two comes out, draining all the mana. CY's down. Triple kill for our tour. Yeah. Nothing. That's, that's the GG. That's they gave it the appropriate amount of time, but they didn't extend it longer than it needed to be. This game is not, not going to take it. Yeah, that's, that was a nice try, you gotta say. But it just snowballed way too out of control. Yeah, game one was very respectful. They were even slightly winning. And, uh, I mean, Team Tinker came back, but overall, Tongfu, I mean, it's not, like, yeah, like I said, it's not an embarrassment. 